Mitsubishi and Michael in a 79 I think is that right? Nah. anyway today's Billy Goats and I'm hoping that this works because my GoPro has been an beep so we did uh Go for everyone. If anyone needs to stop and get a, a spot, then just let us know and we'll stop. I've got to try not to get too close to Winston so we don't get too much dust on the screen because it's dusty. Now, Billy Goats, I have done once before. It's on the channel, but it doesn't have an in cab commentary. Because this is where it all started. The only that time I was uh, with my friend Damien and he said, why don't you film in cab? And I was like, oh, I'll look stupid. Okay, this one you've got a little um, wombat hole in it. I'm stuck to the right. And there's a hole on the other side of it, so I stick to the right side. Stick to the right. And, um, so I had a big DSLR and I gaffer taped it onto the dash and uh, <laughs> for half of Billy Goats I had one hand on the camera. It the was... right hand turn I stuck to the left side and just took it wide. Concentrate. Something about big wombat hole. Mm. Um, and so it failed because <laughs> I didn't realise that it would only record um, 12 minutes or something. Oh, we've got a huge wombat hole up here. Huh? Huge wombat hole. Why can I not hear him? to give Winston a bit of space, G. Yeah, so for all the tracks I did after Billy Goats, that's when the in-cab commentary came. And um, never looked back, really. Can you tell me again which side for the big massive wombat hole? Uh, for the big one, man, oh, I um, straddled it over the top of it. Um, that's up the left, right turn, or the right, left turn, sorry. Oh, good, just pass the one that off. Obviously. 
Thank you, Charlie. It's all rock, pretty much. Don't know what I'm driving into there. Oh, let's go up the rock bit. Bags of rock. on it and somebody commented that it was 10 times harder than my video when I did it and so I had a bit of a choice yesterday <laughs> I was like oh do I film Brewery Creek track that I haven't driven on which would be just good to have it as a record for those people who don't want to do Basalt Knob South or do I go down Basalt Knob South and see you know a new recording so anyway we went down Basalt Knob South and Look, it was hard the first time I did it. I would never want to do it in the wet, to be honest. Um, there was one section, the higher section of the steep, you enjoy that? The steep bits, that I think is more churned up. Looks good. <laughs> nice. I've got an oncoming vehicle, I'll just pull over here. But all, the, all the bottom steep section, was very We're similar. Downhill, so was very similar to um, how it was. It's hardly changed at all, I would actually say. <clears throat> Just let me know what the go is, because I'm in a bit of a stopping spot. There's a big spot at the top of the hill. G and Michael will all fit in here. Um, but the GoPro, my God, the one on the road. <laughs> one on the roof decided it's never done it before but it decided it wanted to overheat uh, the um, oncoming is um, one vehicle only um, so I'll probably let you through so we're stopping and waiting for them are we um, have you got off the stick section yet because it comes to a plateau section I will just stop him here are you off the stick part yet and where it sort of flattens out again? There's just two coming oh, up oh, now. Please, you might be. They know you're here, but if you wait here, they'll come up and then, um, yeah, just two. Right, please. Yeah, um, no worries. The section, there'll be plenty of room, just keep coming along. He's stopping at the top of the hill for you, um, so you can come up and get on that plateau. Thank you. Um. So yeah. Right, Margaret, you just let him know you're the last one. Yeah, will do. It overheated. I got the top section, the steep first section, but all of the bottom steep section I didn't get. So I might do a little video just to show people this top bit that's a bit more churned up, but I'm gonna have to put like a disclaimer at the start about how rubbish my GoPro is and how it keeps letting me down. Um, so if you are interested in Basalt Love South, you can watch the old video. Charlie, fine. It's very similar. Thanks, Mike. Um, it hasn't changed much. I think that video is two years old. It hasn't changed much. Ooh, hello. I don't remember that bit being that rough, to be honest, but it should be interesting for the rest of it. Um... Yeah, there's also there's um, a few rock steps, but there's nothing like too majorly bad, so we'll see. Just take it as it comes, I think. Yeah, that's okay. All good then. I'm sure, the rock steps have disappeared. Anyway, so yeah. Have a little climb again. Give me a second, thank you. Um, yes, and I'll put the little snippet up 
so that you can watch the little snippet you can watch the other one if you really want to know i would say i would not want to do it in the wet there's nothing to winch off like the trees are the size of my kids legs um that top section that is churned up even in the dry i'd be a bit like oh what's going on there you know i'm not <clears throat> it would definitely be interesting going up but at least going down you've got gravity on your side going up i think it would be a lot harder in the video i say oh i think this would be easy going up but actually i think it would be harder going up um yeah so that's that video it was a total fail yesterday but we all made it just a shame i lost the bit that's the steeper section down the bottom <clears throat> Winston. same thing to happen so I'm going to try uh, straight up into the clouds so try to mount the, uh, view probably. mount a solar panel on the roof um, put, it, put it on a bit of a bracket system um, so that I can have it up and um, put the swags up behind it bit of a windbreak we'll see how we go but it's a plan so this first section nice and rocky not too steep but a couple of spots where you have to think it's a super fun nice and enjoyable I'm pretty sure I might drop some f-bombs once we've got over the helipad that's what I remember from last time I'm not gonna lie And it's funny because I've done hard tracks. You know, I actually think Bull Town, Bull Town Spur going down to start Crooked River is a bit, and it's really thin and a big drop off. It's proper scary. I think that's a pretty hard track. And the drop in from the main road, main road, is really steep. Oh, it's horrible. Anyway, I think that's a pretty hard one. That's all knob south. That section is hard in the dry. Um, but yeah, I do remember this being interesting. Anyway, I just hope the GoPro works, to be honest. Just give Winston a bit of space. Are we nearly at the helipad? What's going on here? Nearly at the helipad. It's really dusty. Really dusty. If you, I'm gonna, th think that I will because I filmed blue rag as well when we went up blue rag it's changed a little bit I think it's actually easier than it was clear blue skies like whoa, just picture perfect just what you want okay the uh, last of a little pinched um, 
big sort of rock going and I stuck to the left side of it and it's not bad. Stuck to the left side of it, I can see a sharp oh, rock. Yeah. I can see a sharp rock there, so I don't want to put my tyres on that. There we go. We're just on the climb now. One thing that came apparent became apparent on um, yeah, there's no climbs and plateaus and climbs and plateaus. So. On uh, Massault Knob, and e on any track really, is that even if you're in convoy, if somebody says stick left, that's pretty much you see the um, tire marks of everyone else. You stick them, it seems to be pretty good. Everyone says stick left, stick right. You've got to think for yourself. Um, so yeah, look at the tire marks that you have. Um, on the track obviously that's a clear indication of where everyone else has gone but at the same time have a look yourself if there's a sharp rock let's go around it um, we had we had one of us we got to a point okay, I'll the we'll just pull up here for a minute. and the communication was a little bit um, it went a bit AWOL and the car in front of me went um, left and I stopped and I looked at it and I was like, I, I'm not sure I want to go left. Got it, the four by four. that, hey? Oh my car, I love you. Then 
another bit of a rock step, but they're not too bad. I just sort of went down straight down the middle of them. Yeah, I don't recall them. I think they got handbrakes on. Tip. Take your handbrake off. You seem to go further. Might just put that on. Make my life a little bit easier. Give Winston some space. So, two years ago, I don't recall this being anything from the top of the helipad. Like it does say on rooftops, rock, rock steps, but I think they'd graded it not long ago. And so, um, it's the kind of gone. steppy like this I just put them on so that I'm not having to mess with my brakes too much. Ah perfect. Well, there we perfect. And then we can take that off now we've gone over those. There we go and one's fine. Just tend to find some timers on that kind of rocky stuff when I um oh hang on let's do that. I was moving very quickly there and it was not in two. Anyway, um, yeah, the downhill ascent control just, if I was on my, if I was trying to do that just in one and let the car walk down, I know that I would, I, I would feel that kind of um, loss of traction. Whereas the downhill ascent control just gives me that little bit of extra um, control. I don't want to be touching the brakes and just putting them on. But the car will do brake where is needed. So, yes. Yeah, I've, I've, it's been commented on that. I'm obviously not confident because I scream at <laughs> I go, ah! a lot. But it's not that I'm not confident it's just you know I go out on my own all the time I, do, I try to pick tracks that I feel comfortable driving yes um, I suppose the least confident you will have seen me is on that Sullivan's track where I'm driving that manual for the first time and I broke it and we got stuck I'm just like I don't know what to do it's a manual ah um, down we'll go down that's far too slow Charlie's down the first hill But I just make noises. The, uh, the quad now. All the time. If there's fast movements. <laughs> oh, anyway, we'll see how we go. I think, like I said, uh, I think I'll probably do a bit of squealing up here and a bit of, you know. So we'll just take our time. Uh, so the start of the quad is. Um the rock section, there's a bit of a hole in the centre, I'll just stuck to the right. Our faithful leader, Steve, doing a grand job. Off we go. I can confirm that there are no fish in Crooked River. It's got nothing to do with my fishing skills and everything to do with the lack of fish in the river. Just gonna check my fire, Michael. Hello. This is all solid. Nothing loose under here. 
future. Um, as with all tracks, I'm sure this would be a totally different story in the wet. Some of these bits, you know, your tire would spin. All right, here we go. Um, Let the fun begin. All good, Jay? Going up some of yeah, these. Yeah, back on the way. If you want a challenge. All right, some big one-bed holes and, um, yes. the car in front merrily because your tyres are different to the car in front like um, the th Steve's got what's he got 33's he's got mud tyres Winston in front's got mud tyres um, so I can't follow them some you know wheels are further apart whatever lifts are different so yes have a line that you're picking have a line that you're picking and listen to what your leader's saying and stuff but you've got to use your brain as well and if it, if it doesn't look right for you or if you think that you've got an easier line then you know that's on you but you should always be looking you shouldn't just merrily follow it's like google isn't it when it tells you to go somewhere <laughs> sometimes it takes you down some weird places always got to stop and think As long as there's a whoopsie between me and Winston, I don't want to be sat on a steep bit and then have lost all my momentum. Oh, is this what he meant by one bar Oh, yeah, okay. I kind of think that way is easier. Let's get across. Let's get across there. Yes. Awesome. Go a bit of fright here, I think. A bit in the shady stuff, but with grip on the left. Yes, oh, we're going. Ooh, let's go this way. Kind of. Let's see where we go here. I mean, there's definitely rock and there's shale, but there's bags of grip there. Awesome. We do have drop-offs on those sides. So there is uh, quite a few one bed holes through some of these. Um, whoop de doos and all that. Um, I've just tried to bench straddling them. Yeah. Um, like I say, I, there's no point in me telling you which ones to go left, right and all that, because by the time, you get to it, it's going to be 800 more. Yep, all good. That doesn't matter, that major, major ones if there is any. There's a couple good ones, but um, you'll, you'll work it out. Um, so far, I'm running open tip, I haven't. I've done a little bit of wheel spin here and there, but nothing major. Yeah, I'm not sure you're right there, Winston. No, no. Say again. No. no. Hold up, I'm on a flat bit, so I'll come and have a look. Do you know me to come back or? Have I a right to come up, Jake? I'm 
good. Got stuck in it. 